Today we will be slurry seeding cover crops at the Blight Farm in Albion, Michigan. This work was funded by a conservation innovation grant from the USDA Natural Resource Conservation Service. Now our slurry seeding, we actually mix the cover crop seed directly in the slurry tank and use low disturbance tillage to create a roughened surface and seed bed for the crop. So today we'll be using uh, an application of 3,000 gallons per acre of swine slurry and we'll be seeding oilseed radish at 15 pounds per acre and in alternate plots we'll also be seeding oats at two bushels per acre in combination with forage turnips at two pounds per acre. Now in some alternative plots we will be no-till drilling uh, into this same seed bed. We've got a no-till drill, uh, we'll establish uh, or we'll seed the crop and then we will come in later after seeding and we will make our application of 3,000 gallons of swine slurry over the top with low disturbance tillage. Now for slurry seeding, we use a, a low disturbance tillage tool, it's an airway. Uh, we've got a rolling tie and aerator, and it's mounted directly on the back of our tank, and the seed is placed in the tank, and then the seed is delivered through the drop tubes uh, to the soil surface. We use these aeration tines to loosen and fracture the soil, and then the seed laden slurry is delivered to the fractured soil uh, through these drop tubes and it uh, exits just a few inches above the soil surface and the seed laden slurry is directed directly into those uh, areas of fraction loosened soil. We use bypass flow from our PTO pump to keep the seed in suspension and we can control our flow with uh, by controlling the valve on the uh, our gate valve on the PTO. The real advantage of this seeding operation is that we it's resource efficient. We accomplish three operations in one. We loosen the soil, we apply manure, and we plant a cover crop seed in one efficient operation. So in the field, uh, this equipment is ideally suited for no-till cropping systems. It handles the surface residue very well. Uh, we use the aeration tine to loosen and fracture the soil and then you can see that the seed laden slurry is being delivered and dropped near the surface directly into the loosened and fractured soil. And that is where the seed finds germination sites and uh, it's worked very well for us. Now we've had very good luck with a number of cover crops with this seeding method. We've had good luck with wheat, with cereal rye, with annual ryegrass, with some of our forages for pasture improvement such as red clover, alcite clover, uh, Fesulolium and orchard grass. We've also had good luck with the, some of our late season grazing crops like forage rape, forage turnips, uh, and some other crops as well. So uh, we see a lot of opportunities for this seeding method. Uh, and again, I think one of the real advantages here is we're not competing. Our cover crop is not competing for labor with other operations. We're loosening the soil, alleviating shallow soil compaction, we're applying manure and we're seeding a cover crop all in one efficient operation. So we're left with a very porous soil surface that infiltrates rainfall very well. Uh, so if we do get a heavy rains we're not going to be washing nutrients and manure and other contaminants to, uh, to the roadside and we will continue to monitor crop progress over the next uh, couple of months. So It is now September 17th and we have some very nice cover crops. There are five establishment methods and each is repeated three times across the 40 acre site so we have 15 alternating strip plots. Each plot is 84 feet wide by 1300 feet long. One of the five treatments is manure alone with no cover crop. This is a slurry seeded oat turnip combination. You can see distinct rows with slurry seeding because the seed emerges from the fractured soil left by the aeration tines that have seven and a half inch spacings similar to a grain drill. This is the border between two plots. On the left is slurry seeded oilseed radish. On the right is drilled oilseed radish where swine slurry was applied with aeration tillage on the same day but after drilling. This is the no-till drilled oat turnip combination with slurry seeding plus aeration tillage after drilling. The aerator gang was set at seven and a half degrees which was quite aggressive 
But if there was a reduction in seed to soil contact from the aeration, it does not appear to have hurt the stand. This is slurry seeded oil seed radish. Here, on the left, we have drilled oilseed radish. On the right is the drilled oat turnip mix. Each of these crops had swine slurry and aeration tillage over the drilled crop after seeding. These excellent cover crops demonstrate that manure and cover crops are a great combination for no-till and reduced tillage cropping systems. Near the end of October, we will come back and measure cover crop yield and then take plant tissue and soil nitrate tests to track manure nitrogen use and availability in these cropping systems.